I guess we're no fab day two, and I never got that bus and do nuts. Cause I know in about two days I've been busting nuts. I know you guys probably thought that, <laughs> that I was, you know, I was going to mess up, mess around the binge and be gone for another two weeks. But nah, man, um, we back at it again. We, we, we about to go on a long street this time. I can feel it. I think. Hopefully. But anyway, um, yeah, you guys, it was pretty decent. Um, felt good waking up knowing that I wasn't going to relapse again. Because uh, we all know once again that the point where it can be horrible when you just don't know when you're going to get back on track. You're just consistently relapsing. You don't know when. I, you don't know when you're going to get. You don't know when you're going to get back on track. You're just like, man, this is horrible. But um, thankfully, I stopped that. And um, now we're on day two. Um. I got a couple of, no, I got one exam tomorrow. Um, certainly need to pass that exam because I certainly don't have to repeat, repeat the class um, a third time. But, you know, uh, I'm definitely going to pass that t that class, that exam tomorrow by any means necessary, wink, wink. Um, which, you know, um, which definitely brings me to the, my, um, my main point um, of the video, which is... Um, like quick pleasures and porn. One thing I noticed, even when I was, even from the time I was community college to university, I rarely, I rarely like study because I, 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 the the one thing about like when I was in when I was in my, my first like year of community college, I discovered that they got all the answers to the quizzes online in the test, um, and so um, I seen one one, one guy was. Um, I, forgot, I forgot. I forgot how I found out. We all know. I'm pretty sure we, we we all heard about Quizlet if you were like in school or whatnot. But um, essentially, it's a website where people upload all the tests, all the exams, to like pretty much all the any class that somebody else took. They just upload all the quizzes and tests to the site. So all you gotta do is just go in there and copy and paste, and you get all the answers. And for years, I've just been, you know, essentially. I, 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 I'm not happy to say it, but essentially, I've you know just been. Copy and pasting quiz online quiz answers and tests, getting the answers, and what that's and what that has done is um combined with PMO has made me into a lazy thinker, and make me it makes me, it just made me into a lazy person when it comes to studying, um, and then um when, when you combine that with PMO, it's like anything constructed. If you think about it, like like university like, like school wise, if all the answers to your tests are online and you ain't got to study, you just can just Google everything. Um, how's that gonna help you in the real world when you have an interview for a job or whatever and they ask you a question about, you know, I don't know, something in your field and you don't know how to answer because you just, you Googled everything. Um, that's what, you know, um, it's, it's, what, it's something that you don't think about in the moment, but when it's definitely when you get close to gradu graduation, you, just, you start thinking like, damn, I literally just cheated all my time here, so what was the point of me doing all this? And it's just like you would just kinda of sit back and think like damn just wasting we just wasting our time if all you're gonna do is just cheat. Um, at least cheat in the class that on your core classes, but if if you cheat in your core classes as well, just look, all the answers online, how's that gonna help you in the future? Um, 'cause you're literally just making yourself like numb. I mean numb but like like dumb, just just literally just it, it, a lot of if, if you do just if you just copy and paste the answers, you you're not you are not even thinking about the trying to find the right answer. Um it make it really um again combined with PMO. It makes you just only we have to actually sit down and study with something. You just are disgusted because it's just like damn, I actually got to sit here and work. I have, to, I have to actually sit here and actually solve a problem and study now, and um that's why it gets hard, you know now. Um, cause if you used to all the answers been online, it's like now you have to actually study for something. Guess what happens? Usually bombing tests. And it all goes back to mindset. If, if that's what the mindset you want to have, it's like, okay. But um, it's just going to cultivate you to a lazy person that doesn't want to work for anything. You just want everything easy. And it's, then you think about PMO as well, which is interesting because guess what? You want anything quick. And rather than speaking to an attractive, an attractive girl that you're interested in, you mess around and find Instagram and you end up just jacking out to her, picture, her pictures while you're watching porn. Guess what? Instead of talking to the girl, you can just... You can just jack off to her, her social media, media pictures and, and watch porn. So now it's like, damn, you can't even talk to a girl. You can, just, but you can, you know, you can, um, you can uh, spill that seed to her pictures, and then it's like, <laughs> quick pleasure. So you, so you, 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 you skip the hard, the hard route, and you just want to go take, have everything easy. 
Pimo takes like 12, 10 seconds to have a video pulled up. Um, have all them do open up all them tabs, all 28 tabs. How many, how long it take? Like, like a minute. The next thing you know, you jacking up the porn. But um, obviously when it, when it comes to having sex with a real girl, it's, after, it's a, it's, it's, it, well, it's a process too. But when it comes to having sex with a, with a real girl, it's a process. You have to actually, well, Assuming that you're speaking to a woman that you actually like, not just a chick that's throwing it at you and you don't find her attractive. Because you honestly might as well just jack up the porn than sleeping with a chick who you don't find attractive at all. You're just going to use her for a whole. It's kind of just pointless to, to do that. And it's kind of safer just to jack, kind of safer to, to, um, to jack up and then sleep with a girl you don't really like like that. You're just kind of using it for, using it for sex. That's, it's much safer just to jack up at that point. But assuming that it's a chick that you actually like, you know, you can't just... It's not, it's not gonna take 10 seconds to, um, you know, just to be having sex with her. You have to actually talk to her, do all this stuff, go through all the motions. It, it, it definitely makes us just, it, it, PMO combined with, you know, um, this age of having all the answers online, you can just Google everything. It definitely, it definitely makes us lazier and lazier and lazier. Um, but, um, yeah, man, that's what definitely over my years was like at, at college. It, Essentially, just looking at all the answers online. Rarely, that rarely have I studied for a test for weeks and then passed it, because I studied. I best off study. Except for my, I had was the easiest class I took at college. Easy class. Is a is a, obviously it was a humanities class. I I got a ninety eight in that class, ninety nine in the class. You, you <laughs> actually studied in that class, cause, but because <laughs> a lot of the questions were so damn easy. <laughs> But um, got like a ninety nine. But that's kind of funny. But um, F, but all the quote unquote hard classes, my core classes, nope. Wait till the last minute, or just use the the Quizlet. Just you Google everything, got everything quick. And that makes us um, all that does make us want everything quick. Fast food, you know, you want porn quick, and it just really makes us, it just really makes us completely lazy and, and passionless. And then you get to a point to where you graduate, even in community college. Before I transfer, it's like okay. Pretty much cheated all two years here, combined with PMO, a lot of bad habits. Um, okay, so we can switch around with university. You can't, you're not gonna just change a bad habit in like a month or whatever. Same thing here, and, it, and you may pass everything and get to the end, but at the, at the end of, at the end of the day, what did you learn? If you didn't learn nothing, then it's time you just wasting money and time of, of your life. Just cheating. <laughs> it's like what the what was the point of you coming here just to Google everything? And not, you know, and not actually learn something. You ain't got to remember everything, but, you know, it's all about taking pride in yourself and, you know, just really trying to, trying to study and, um, you know, saving the Google answers for last. But if you, if you just open the quiz and just cheat on everything, it's kind of like, what was the point of that? But um, I definitely noticed that, man. Like, um, you know, just asking myself, like, I literally just wasted like, the past, like, five years and a half years, five and a half years of just <laughs> Googling everything and, Obviously, I can't take I can't take that back, but um, at the same time, it, like I said before, I, I wouldn't change my life. I wouldn't change any event at all. Now maybe if I'm forty years old, still PM on. I, if, if somebody offered me a chance to go back <laughs> to, to to when I was twenty, at that point I would definitely take it. <laughs> but still being you know twenty three now, I still got time, and it, and also um, I, you know definitely time like this definitely makes me. I, I wouldn't want to change anything because. You know, when I do kick, kick this addiction, I'm able to help other people. You know, with a lot of good advice because I, you know, went through all the all the bullshit. So I'll be able to give some good advice, rather than just just being hit a button to fix all your problems. And then now you, your PMO free. All your everything in your life is on point. But how you gonna help somebody if you haven't really, if all you did was hit a was, was hit a button to change to make your life quote unquote perfect. How you gonna be able to help somebody else with advice if you know if you didn't really go through anything? All you did was just hit a button. So I I definitely wouldn't change anything. But um, yeah, man. Um, um yeah, PMO definitely makes us lazy. But um, you know, I don't I don't want to just I'm 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 not gonna say it just LL man. PMO is the reason why I, I cheated on my, in most of the tests because you know I can't just say that. But it definitely um it definitely did make me more you know. Lazy in terms of studying. Maybe if I was like a high streak, I really kicked PMO, and I was you know just on a nice little streak. Maybe I would take more pride in actually studying. But um, who knows? But um, damn, this video went by quick. But um, well, already at ten minutes. 
But um, yeah, man, um, that's why it's really hard to quit PMO because once you download quick pleasures and quick <laughs> everything, you want everything just like that. Once you download that, the program into your mind, it's a bitch to, un to uninstall it. And now you <laughs> the thought of eating healthy, waking up early, actually studying, you don't want to do that, but you just want to play video games, sleep late, <laughs> um, other lazy things, not make your bed, dirty bathroom, dirty car, all the, all this stuff is all this stuff is, is just all this stuff is with is is pretty much one, but it just resides with you being lazy. It's it's definitely um unfortunate, but um only we can change it. We can make excuses, but only we can change our behaviors, and um we can make excuses so we can actually change. We can make excuses so we can change, and so um yeah man um. Definitely times like this makes me, it makes me think like in the future, I'll definitely be mentally stronger, you know, being able to go through all this and come out on top, you know, um, but uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys soon. Um, and it's already stone relapse. What do you guys think about like quick pleasures and things of that nature? Having everything quick, especially in this day with social media where you, you literally can meet women online <laughs> and you ain't got to speak to them, which I kind of, kind of, which I would never um like DM a chick. Um, I I'll, I'll make a video one day where I, like a read like where I would like read like back when I was like sixteen, I used to like DM this girl that I thought was like attractive <laughs> in high school on Facebook. Um, back on Facebook was popping and um very 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 cringy very very cringy um messages. <laughs> I'm I'm have to read I'm I'm have to make a video one day where I read all that <laughs> just to see how cringy I was. Seen her in person, couldn't even look her in the eyes. I walked past her in the hallway, she would smile at me, couldn't even look at her, couldn't even look at her in the eyes. So at the point, then I, I, weirdly enough, I would go home and DM, DM her. <laughs> and um, next day in school, couldn't look at her. So I don't understand what's the point of all your dating apps if you can't, if you if, if you if you can be confident online, but you can't speak to a chicken real life, is kind of pointless. It just goes, it just goes to show you that we're in an age where you can do a lot of things by not even going outside. <laughs> Hence why a lot of people are addicted to porn because I I'm talking too much, man. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll see you guys soon. And, and I'll wait for Stone Relapse. Let me know your thoughts. But I'll see you guys soon. I'm out, I'm out for it this time.